Okay, so good morning, um, class. So we'll be working on it's not a morning actually; it's two forty-three p.m. Um, for for today, we'll be working on this visual experiment. Uh, we'll be looking at the pH of different materials. So we'll start with water for now. Um, so this um, this is a device to measure the pH. And I told you I told you from the previous discussion. Um, so anything lower than seven is an acid. Higher than seven will be basic. Um, and acidity increases as as um, as the number decreases. So let's say if the pH is zero, then obviously it's more acidic than two or four or six. Does that make sense? Um, the higher the number for basic materials, the more basic it is. Um, so let's say uh, for a pH of fourteen is more basic than than twelve. So we'll start with water for now. Um, so notice here we have a volume of water, which is 0.5 liters or 500, 500 ml. So, so we have water and then the pH is 7. So which tells you salt, water, so salt mixed in water are considered neutral. Okay, And we, we've learned from, from our previous discussion that when you mix an acid with a base, you will produce salt and water, so which is a neutral solution. Okay, so now what will happen to the pH if we will add more water? Obviously, nothing will happen. Um, let's see if you can add it to. Oh, I can. Okay, so if it's one liter, approximately the p, uh, approximately one liter, the pH is still seven. Okay, let's go now to the next material, drain cleaner. Um, notice the pH is thirteen for the drain cleaner. So what can you say? Is it a basic material or an acidic material? And then. Well, you need to fill up the table. So, uh, and then we'll increase the volume of, of the drain cleaners. And notice what's happening with notice what's happening with the pH as we increase the volume. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So please record the pH at approximately one liter. Okay. So did you get the pH at the beginning? Okay, we'll start with that again. Okay, so the, the initial pH at 50, 50 0.5 per 500, 500 ml uh, will be 12.65 and the pH at the pH at 1 liter. Okay, so what happened to the pH? Okay, let's go now to the next one. Um, hand soap, is it acidic or basic? Um, you know, um, and at 0 0.5 liters or 500 ml, the pH is 10. Uh, what will happen to the pH if we will add more water? Okay. And okay, I think we'll stop there. Okay, what is the pH now when the water water is approximately one liter? Okay, record your answer. Let's go now to the next one. Um, okay, blood. Okay, uh, at zero point five liters, the pH is seven point four. So your your blood is typically 7.4 if it's slightly basic. Now, if we will add more water, what happens to the pH of your blood? Okay, so the pH at one liter is 7.24. So what do you notice? There's not like not really a big change, right? Let's see. Let's go now to the next one. Or or is it is is blood basic or acidic? So write that down. Let's go now to spit. Okay, so when you spit uh, at 0 0.5 liters, the pH is 7.4. Um, now at... Okay, so record your answers at uh, approximately 1 liter. What will be the pH? Is it acidic or basic? Let's go now to the next one. Uh, milk. So we'll... Well, you, you, you know water already, right? Um, we did that at the beginning. Now we'll, we'll go to milk. So milk at the beginning is 6.5. What is the pH when it reaches 1 liter? And there you go. Okay. Um, is milk acidic or basic? Let's go on to the next one. Chicken soup. Okay. So you have the pH there. Um, at 0 0.5 liters, we'll now increase the volume to... Sorry. Yeah. Okay. One liter. Okay. So what is the what is the pH now? Okay. Next one. Coffee. 
Okay, so pH, pH at 0 0.5 liters, so 500 ml is this. And then we'll add more water. Boom. Okay. Okay, so uh, what is the pH now of coffee um, at 1 liter? Okay, let's go on to the next one. Orange juice. Okay, 3.5. Now we'll add water. Stop. Okay. So this one. So what is the pH at like with one liter water or with one liter solution actually? Okay, let's go on to the next one. Um, soda pop. Okay, so pH at the beginning and pH now. And then let's go on to the next, vomit. Okay, pH is 2. Uh, we're probably asking, okay, well, Mr. Chris, why, why is it? Because, you know, I mean... The acid coming from your stomach is coming out of your mouth, right? That's why the pH is lower because it's acidic. Now, um, what will happen to the pH if you will add more water? Okay. And the next one, uh, acid. Okay, so the liquid in in, uh, in batteries, car batteries, so that will be the acid there. So it's pretty acidic. That's why you need to be careful. Okay. Now, when we add more water, what will happen? Sorry. Okay, there you go. Record your answers. Uh, label whether they are acids or bases. Um, let's see if we can. Now, for drain cleaners, um, well, another way of doing this, so look at the pH here. For drain cleaner, if we will add more, If we will add more drain cleaner, notice that the pH doesn't change as much, right? But so that's the thing, um, and that's the reason why that's the reason why when you're working in the lab, um, we need to use let's say for example uh, we had an accident, and then say maybe a drain cleaner gets into your eyes, um, say for example this right will drain some for now, yeah. Okay, so the pH is 13. Now, the, a drain thing, like a drain thing gets into your eyes. Now, what do you need to do? We go to our eye station, put a lot of water, because notice, notice the pH gets lower and lower and lower. So, the longer you stay, the more water, the more water gets into your eyes to drain that drain cleaner. Okay, the lower the pH, the more it will, leave, it will maybe reach around 7. So, now it is completely somehow maybe uh, flushed out from your eyes then uh then it will not be as damaging does that make sense uh let's say for example we have acid okay uh, notice here if we will add more water the ph is increasing okay let's add more water okay let's drain this And then let's add more water so notice here we can add 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 water okay drain this because we're trying to remove the acid right so and then we add more water here and notice as you add more water as you add more water the pH goes closer to uh, becoming neutral so so same thing so like if, if you have acid in your eyes or if let's say for example um, you know, for there's an accident, and you know, acid was splashing on, on your hand or something. Then you just continue, continue to wash it. Um, allow the water to flush out the acid, um, the excess um, hydrogen ions, and then, and um, and hopefully that will increase the pH, in order for your skin um, to be not damaged. So, and, and that's it. I hope you um, enjoy the simulations. Actually, very good. Okay, God bless you.